Hello. Uh, yes, you're about to watch a man open a box and put out some bottles. But seriously, the um, before I bought these, I had been concerned that uh, there'd be horror stories and videos and online um, about the contents breaking or overflowing or the bottles emptying themselves. So I, I figured this was a valid video. Uh, so let's get started. Comes in a standard DHL cardboard box, parcel tape, of course, around the outside. You open her up, and inside we are surrounded by a single layer of bubble wrap. We have a printout telling you all about what Crimson do, and a bow around a Brown paper parcel. Let's uh, now the bow was done much nicer than this. I, I've already had a look. So yeah, inside you get brown paper with a bow around, which I'm sure is just for effect. And inside we have our bottles. Our bottles in what looks like a um, a vacuum sealed bag, which hasn't been vacuum sealed, but it has been. Sealed, and everything seems to be exactly as you'd hope. Uh, let's get the bottles out. We have the penetrating finisher oil. We have stain one red, stain one blue, stain yellow, stain yellow, stain three yellow. And I hope the banging on the desk wasn't too annoying. Um. I've got to get them out and have a quick go, haven't I? One moment. <clears throat> so, bottles out. A bit of wood, which has been quite roughly sanded. Uh, I'm going to use some sponges here, but I'm going to kind of fold them tight so uh, we're not soaking up all the uh, thing. Um, and where better to start? But red. And that's definitely red. Just gonna do a little bit more so I've got an idea. Red. Try not to leave the lids off. Um, I'm gonna try and blend in some blue. See if we magically get purple. They're very vibrant. Um, I haven't magically got purple in the middle here, um, but then that was only a rough experiment. Um, let me just try some on the edge here. Let's see what the yellow looks like. Is yellow on a light wood? Oh, this is um, this is sort of white wood, which could be spruce, pine, one of many things. Now I'm going to shake this one. I didn't shake the previous two, which may be a mistake. If there's pigment. Yeah, that's cool. That's really nice. Um, let's just see what a bit of yellow over blue does. I guess that's green. <laughs> and um, over a bit of the red. Yeah, that's that's definitely an orange. Huh. Um okay, this was just supposed to be a quick uh, get it out of the box and give it a go. 
Um, so I'm going to try and mix different colours because what the colours I actually wanted were purple. I haven't got a purple. I wanted a brown. We don't have a brown. <laughs> and uh, an orange, and I don't have an orange either. But I thought maybe I could try mixing these and see what fun I could have. They're not expensive anyway, so I have to buy the right colours. Then that's what I have to do. Um, if you're still watching, then uh, thank you very much for watching this far, and I'll see you in the next video. Uh, mixing the stuff up. I realised I didn't actually make a conclusion. Um, the point of this video was to see how well they were packaged and whether they survived the journey. They did survive the journey. They're relying on the strength of the cardboard box rather than any padding within it. Um, I can only imagine they'd go wrong if the top of the bottle took a knock, but um, that seemed okay. Um, I also realised that the staining was kind of a flawed process, but There'll be more on that later. Probably mixing the stains first before putting them on. Anyway, um, thank you very much and goodbye.